Put it in the back. It is raining, but we are headed to Dallas to get a cubicle and to do a little bit of celebration for some goals we hit. Tyrannicus. What's up? Gentlemen, this is a uh, momentous occasion. All right. We are headed to D-Town for a little bit of a celebration and picking up a cubicle and something that I planned neither of you guys know about yet. Okay. You don't know what it is yet, Lalo? No. <laughs> I don't like surprises. Lalo doesn't know. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't involve running. No, it's, there's no running. <laughs> All right, cool. AC? Possibly, as we get there, as we get closer, mm -hmm. you, you'll, 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 you may have a guess as to what it'll be. I mean, as we're pulling up to the place, you'll get like one guess you, every you hour. May, you may figure it out. <laughs> you may figure it out. We'll see. Right. This is hyperdrive unit one and two. This is the flux capacity. Gotcha. These others are countermeasures. <laughs> this is the oil slicks and. These are two option. These are optional. I haven't loaded those. You got suggestions? <laughs> you have to <laughs> unlock that. <laughs> yeah. You have to level up to unlock well, that feature. Well, no, you gotta. You have to, you have to resupply. You know, train to buy. Like I've had you have heat-seeking missiles. At one point, you gotta pay ninety-nine cents for that feature and just. All of has to pee pee. I do. But the bathroom was. It's out of order. order. So I gotta go across the street now. You, it's worked it's perfect. That dude just went in there and used the bathroom. It's he did not. It's so <laughs> wet. They, don't, they won't know. <laughs> what you gonna get, Train? What's your go-to oh, snack, Train? You gotta find the, the hidden gems, like you know, that baby back ribs flavor, the fire roast, the sweet coins. I like to find like brands that they won't see or you've never long. tried before. Yeah. That's how you find the hidden I guess gems. that's a good way to go. I've never seen that before. Chile picante? Yeah, those are good. DP is the way to go. Yeah, They're like, what brand is that? Flavor Mill. Yeah, they, they, they produce flavor. You gonna skip out on the ranch for us? Right. Raging Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> You know, M&M's, that's where it's at. Mmm. Josh, the ring caught up. What? The ring caught back up to the starter. The starter. Gonna have to risk a ticket. I told the gas station lady what the secret activity was. Oh yeah? She yeah. thinks it's pretty cool. Video recording? She wanted to know if we were shooting a movie. Oh really? See, a movie? You. We don't look like actors, sir. You should have told her. I'm sorry. And I could shoot a movie if I wanted to. No, I'm saying I can't be an actor, sir. I mean, I just don't have that charisma like Michael Tran does. Look at this guy. I mean, just look at him. Oh, charisma. He's full of charisma. He's full of charisma. I never act, man. I just play myself. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a character in your own movie yeah, going just, on all the time. The man playing Michael Pan. <laughs> <laughs> the myth, the legend. Somewhere there was something deeper that he knew. It is pouring down rain! Right. Or I suppose my father knew very much in. Well, the raptor did well. She plowed through the rain like it was nothing. It was only a couple times that. We nearly died. All right, here we are, Lalo. We made it, right? Yep. Through a massive rainstorm. Correct. That was unbelievable. That was some of the thickest rain I've ever seen in, like, ever. And it rained for a very, very long time. For, a, like, a long time. Here, Tran thinks he works here. What are the odds that I find a Cat 5E Jack in Dallas on the floor? It's a sign that we're it's at the right place. That we're at the right place, sir.
waiting on people to show up. Alright, what clues do I got so far? Well, I mean, if you just observe... Okay. Like, if I observe, then the first clue is my weight. So it okay. is something to do with weight. Second clue is airport. So it wouldn't be indoor skydiving because they don't care about your weight. They just kick up the speed. <laughs> that is true. So there's a guy over there, like on the big yeah. guys. He's got to be like. This could be AC, but it couldn't. This also could be outside. Uh, not zip lining. Because Josh got that at home, and he wouldn't pay for it if he has it at home. <laughs> It wouldn't be hang gliding because the water would be too scared. Uh, what's your guess, Wardle? I don't know, Josh. I don't know, bro. Uh -huh. You need a big empty field or area, apparently. Yeah, you could just ask me if there was a. <laughs> That's a good guess. What do you say? Jetpack. That's no way we could do that, man. I'm just saying. We're scared of heights, dude. Jetpacks can be done indoor or outdoor. That's yeah, why no I, when I ask. Right? The second thing is, he asks about the weight because he's I mean, obviously of there's. As I am. Both uh, of y'all are not scared of heights. Oh yeah, we are. You're you're normal scared of heights. <laughs> Super normal scared of heights. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna we'll go with bungee. Here's image stabilization. Two raptors. Y'all have a good time, two raptors. We came down here, I gave him some clues, and guess who figured it out? Eduardo. I did. I, I, I gave him the clues. That's true. And he, he, <laughs> it was horrible. Tran didn't know what he was, where he was going. He said he was going to the moon on a jet. Or was close. Jetpack. Jetpack. Jetpack was close. Tran, yeah, I guess jetpacks. Maybe Which just sounds like something I would do, but. <laughs> So now we're headed to Atlantic, the FBO there, and we're gonna wait for the chopper to show up. I thought we was racing planes. <laughs> That's tomorrow. That's tomorrow. <laughs> what it's like not our chopper? <laughs>
How was it? That was fun. It's pretty amazing. It was good. It was really good. Everything you thought it should be. Yes. Yeah. And more. And more. That was that was pretty cool. Let's go there. That's the bar. That's right. <laughs> Just got one of those faces where people are just like, no, I don't. You got one of those like, I'm about to wink at this guy, give him a smile. It's 402 and 404. Cleaned and sealed. Cleaned and sealed for my protection. The way it should be done. Correct. Celebrating the amazing things that we've accomplished. Couldn't sure. have done it without this guy right here. Or that guy. <laughs> or the other guy that's up there. Okay, we are headed out after an amazing time. This trip offered a great opportunity to take something that we needed to do anyway and turn it into a, a kind of a bonding time and a time to reward two of the guys that have been such a huge part of the success of Diverse CTI. It was really an excuse to get away with these two guys and spend some one-on-one -on -one time with both of them, grab a well-deserved dinner, and have a great time. You know, when you, when you wake up every single day and you are excited to come to work, and believe me, these two guys are a big reason behind why I feel that way. Every day, I, I just am like, I'm totally looking forward to coming to work. These guys help create that environment. They're, they're huge parts of that, uh, of the reason that I feel that way. They're huge parts of uh, the success of, of our team. So it was just an opportunity to not only reward them, but we also hit some great milestones as diverse CTI, the amount of, uh, computers and servers and things or what we call endpoints that we're managing uh, we've you know we hit some some pretty big goals that we've been uh, shooting for um, we actually hit them a while ago but but we're just now getting a chance to to kind of celebrate that and so this is really kind of a a, a mark in time to just stop and appreciate what has been accomplished by our team and I just couldn't be happier. Uh, yesterday was awesome. We went up in the helicopter. Last night we went out to dinner. It was great. We had a good time. We had such a good time. I'm super, super stoked. Couldn't be, couldn't be happier.